I'm a big fan and a big advocate of um, anything that allows players, coaches to increase self-awareness, to understand how they can motivate themselves to push themselves. Um, I suppose we're in a digital world, aren't we? So those types of things and those platforms only just foster even that more engagement into try and getting players to do that little bit more, that added above and extra that, that just inspires people to want to be better, to strive and push themselves. One of the things we try and encourage the coaches to do is, is create an environment that's conducive to learning. Um, those added bits of creativity and imagination. The boys are going to be in here for a long time. If we sign them at seven or eight, they're potentially here for 11, 12 years before they get anywhere near the business end in the first thing. So you've got a little mini career before your career. So if you don't add freshness to that, then you can become stale. So this is a resource, again, it's, just, it's another tool for the coaches to interact with and add that additional bit of value, that additional bit of excitement and imagination and creativity that will engage the players, that keeps it fresh. Um, I suppose like with, like with anything really, if you have something that is robust and can back up its data, which is what you've got, um, then it just adds that validity. And, and for me that's really powerful because you, you, you have lots of things that are gimmicky. But if you can hang your hat on something that players actually know has got some depth to it, then actually, they're, again, they'll buy into their stats more. And that benchmarking aspect, everyone likes to compare themselves against someone else. I don't care what people say. It's a competitive sport, isn't it? You want to win, you want to be the best. So if you're trying to compare yourself to a Premier League player, now you've got a benchmark that you can say, well, that's my score. That's where I'm, I match up. Um, and I think, like I say, more importantly for me, it's not the fact that they're trying to chase a new score. That's not the bit that I want. It's, a, it's about raising self-awareness, raising the, my strengths and weaknesses that's what I'm good at, but I want to try and improve that, or well, that's the area that I'm not slightly so good at, so I need to focus on a little bit around doing some work away from the club. Um, so that aspect, I think, is really, really key. I, I can't see many players not wanting to go on and check scores to test themselves, to buy into some video, to try some stuff. You know, kids are on YouTube all the time. I've got two children myself, and, and YouTube is just persistently on. Um, and they're looking at those types of things and people they're trying to compare themselves to, to copycat. So it's a powerful medium that, that kids these days really buy into. And the aspects I like from a coach's perspective is your, your library platform where you can start to share stuff and interact. Again, you know, Twitter coaches, this, they're all over the place, but a lot of the stuff they're accessing, Stu, is, is poor. You know, there's not a great depth or validity under some of the stuff that they're looking at, but they get bought into something because it looks good. You know, so if you've got a community of coaches that actually are putting some stuff on and I like your bit around quality assurance. So actually the stuff that's on there, it's not nonsense. You know, it's, it's got some quality and some quality assurance built into it. So actually that community that you're building, they can access some good stuff.